Right, so what I want to talk about is flanking, the principle of flanking, but primarily what it can give you. So I'm here with Mattel from Holland. You see poster boy. Uh, I just want to give you an understanding of how valuable principle-based ideas are as opposed to technical-based ideas. So flanking is basically getting to the outside of the subject. So if somebody was in front of me here, what I want to do is get to the right side quickly. So that momentarily I'm outside the scope of two to 10, it has peripheral vision, which is probably tunneled if he's agitated. So I want to get to his blind side and hit him in the head, basically that's what I'm uh, going to show you. But the benefit of getting to the blind side is obviously exploited by criminals and it's exploited in warfare. So the principle of flanking has been around since the days of Alexander the Great. On a large, warring, macro scale, you would have main artillery coming to the front, outflanked by the archers from the side, as one example. Well, the microcosm of war is street violence. And criminals will use it all the time. And they know deceptively to take your attention from the front or their main sucker punches you from the side. So I want to look at how we can take advantage of the strategy of getting to the blind side. All right, so first of all, if I wanted to set up perfect preemptive strike for myself, right? So let's just say from here, if I was a little bit nervous about pulling back or making a fist or telegraphing or giving some tell before I throw my first shot into his head, well, maybe I would choose to disappear from his view first. So using the principle of flanking, it's a really good way to set up a sucker punch. So what I mean by that is, I'm here and I'm just going to move here quickly to his blind side. And all I've done, if you think about clock face, he's on 12, I'm on 6. This will be 10, this will be 2, this will be 9, this will be 3. The last place I want to move is to 3, because he can still track me, and now I've moved to where his shot, whatever was in his hand or his hand, would have gathered the most distance, velocity, and impact power over that range. So I've just literally moved to the most dangerous place where he could not be out. That's not what this is. Plain thing is to get to his blind side. So if you think that's three o'clock, I want to go to two o'clock, right? When I do that, I'm just going to take two big meat hooks here, slap that fucking arm out of the way, keep an index, and now I'm behind his ear. Momentarily, he can't see me. And at this point here, because I'm tactile, I'm actually set up like I'm throwing a shot putt. So if I wanted to throw the best shot in the world to knock this man out, I'd have to put it all the way back to draw out the way in. From that, I see it. From here, I put it for free. And it also gives me the back of his brain instead. Best tool to use from here would be a palm. When I throw that palm, just my whole body into it, which will give me that blind side knockout. So, good way to set up a blind side knockout or set up your own sucker punch within the realms of dealing with somebody that was about to do it to you, let's say, would be get to the outside and hit him in the fucking head. You want, bitch, what the fuck you want? <laughs> You should fucking put me down. What fucking you mean? You're fucking put me down. Fuck you doing, eh? What the fuck you doing, man? Old man, you hear what they say? I'm gonna take over your UC. What? You're old fashioned. Am I? Yeah, you are. Yeah? Yeah, this Dutch gun takes over, yes? Check it out. Shit, I'll take it over. Oh, 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 oh